So I picked up one of these uh, Luxifor flags uh, because I wanted some way to indicate to the people around me whether it's okay to talk to me or not. Because one of the things I noticed that being at home is that sometimes my wife uh, will come and uh, she's not sure whether it's okay to talk to me. So uh, I picked this thing up and hacked together some things to try and put together a workflow that could help. So the very first thing I did was uh, account for times where I want to do uh, a lot of deep work. So when I do that, I tend to turn on do not disturb mode because I don't want notifications or anything messing me up. So when I turn on do not disturb mode, I now get a, a red flag on here. And in addition, I don't know if you saw my Slack uh, stuff, but it's also putting me on uh, do not disturb mode and that it's setting me to focus as well. So let me just turn off do not disturb mode. And uh, this loops through every five seconds and you can see that it goes through, sets me back on Slack and uh, turns my flag green. So then the other use case that I want to do is uh, I wanna let people know if I'm on a meeting because sometimes there's lulls in the meeting uh, where it's a little quiet and my wife genuinely doesn't know whether I'm on a meeting or not. So uh, the first thing I did was uh, I started monitoring uh, system calls so that if I'm in a Slack video, uh, Slack hangout of some kind, that it will pop up and automatically uh, set my status, uh, well on Slack it automatically sets the status, but sets the flag uh, as well. And then when I'm done out of there, Slack will automatically handle that and put the flag to green. Uh, and then the other thing I did was I added that same functionality for Zoom if I'm on a Zoom meeting. So not just if the Zoom app is open, but if I'm actually in a Zoom, then it will flip me over to uh, red, to busy and also sets me as if I'm on a call uh, for Slack as well there. So just automatically updates my Slack, updates my flag, and when I leave the meeting, it will go back to green and set my Slack status uh, as it is. So the source code is up on GitHub. It's not something you can really just kind of copy and paste. You there's, there's a bunch of things you have to set up, but it's there in case it would be useful to anybody. Cheers.